In this video, we are going to discuss how to make a function which executes a MATLAB program repeatedly. Suppose you have a function which fails sometimes, and what you want to do is rerun the function until it works. This can be done by using try catch. So, what is try catch? Try and catch are keywords that are used for handling exceptions during program execution. The part of code in which the exception may occur is placed in the try block. Once the exception occurs, the control is shifted to the catch block which handles the exceptions. So now let's switch to MATLAB. Here I've made a simple function which fails sometimes. It takes two input arguments and adds them together. I'm call here I'm calling the rand function which generates um, random numbers between 0 and 1. So if the number generated is less than 0.2, I am accessing an unreferenced variable which will cause an error to occur. Let's see. My The answer is 3. Let's try again. Works. Try again. Let's try again. See, it has run into the error. Uh, since I have set the number to point 0.2, it will fail around 20% of the time. So what I want is, when it runs into an error, the program execution should not stop. It should rerun until it does not fail. So for this, I made a function, try function. Let's see this. This function takes two input arguments. The first is the handle of the function I want to rerun. And this is a variable length input argument list. Uh, the, this is so I can give it any number of arguments I want. Suppose one function has two input arguments, another has three. I can pass all the input arguments using this. Okay, so what this function is doing, I've set, I've made a variable retry and set it to true. In the try block, I am calling the function function whose handle I've given as the input. If the function runs correctly, the retry variable is set to false. If the error occurs, control switch to the catch block and it will pause for 5 seconds, the delay time I've set over here. And since the variable retry is still set to true, it will run continuously until the function works and the retry variable is set to false. Now let's see how I, I should call it. So let's call the try func. Here I'm the first argument is the handle of the function. It's like this my func. And now I give all the input arguments of the original function. Let's say 1 and 2 did not fail let's try again not fail not fail since it has to fail let's just change this to 0.7 and now it will fail around 70 percent of the time let's try again see failed now it's waits for five seconds and then reruns the function it on, oh, now we have the correct answer let's try again failed, failed again And again, so it will continue rerunning the code until the function works, which is on its fourth try.